Sam, I want you to meet Mr. and Mrs. Parker. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, Mr. and Mrs. Parker. My name is Sam. Shake their oh. My God, this movie is so cute. It's called The Magic Ferret. <laughs> and I have with me Lisa Drew, yep. who plays Mrs. Parker. I was looking, okay, so what is her character's name? Mrs. Parker, Mrs. right? Mrs. Parker. Just Ms. Mrs. Parker. Mrs. We, don't, Parker. we don't get a first name. No. All right, so it's all about cute Sam. Yeah. And his lovable pet, Booger, who yeah. happens to be a ferret. Yes. But Sam is so adorable. He's the cutest kid I have ever worked with. He actually is a kid from the Smurfs. He played Neil Patrick Harris's son. Yeah, he's a very busy working actor, more so than the rest of us. All right, so the story, you know, poor Sam needs a family, right? Yeah. And in come Mr. and Mrs. Parker. Yeah, well, basically they're just, they're a couple that are looking to adopt a kid, and I myself don't have children, but I would imagine that um, adopting a kid can be very intense because you're genuinely looking for for your child, essentially. I mean, it was hard enough picking a puppy, but yeah, so they're looking for the perfect kid, and it turns out to be him. And some magic, too, with a ferret. So what was it like working with a ferret? Well, it was interesting because we actually didn't have to work with the ferret by the magic of filmmaking. Uh, he did everything with the kid. But at the same time, when the shots were done, we were the ones kind of being like, can I hold him, can I hold him? Because I would never experienced ferrets before, but he's absolutely adorable. And the only difference is, I mean, when an animal's done, they're done. Then they're maxed out. They're, they just want to be left alone. But he, he put up with two very, very long days, and he was great. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the film. It uh -huh, will be here you. in Winnipeg for Real to Real in February. But yeah. let's talk about you now, acting. I mean, we were talking, your home is in Vancouver, but yeah. you also go to L.A. Yeah. We say country singers end up in Nashville. <laughs> Actors end up in L.A. Yeah. What is it like, Lisa, now? Um... It's good. I mean, it's crazy. You do. You have to jump back and forth. It's just, it's one of those things that when you're starting out, you're like, I'm going to be the exception. And unfortunately, it just it really doesn't work that way. It's a business, and you do have to be down there. Uh, so I got management down there a couple years ago, and I try to split my time as much as, as possible. So after this, I'll be heading down there for a couple months. So what is it like? Do you get scripts, or you sit down with your agent, and he lists off a bunch of projects and potential work? <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah. Uh, kind of, the, it just it's like everybody else. You you go in, you audition, and you do have to have representation. Though I have a great manager, Armada Partners down in LA, and then I have a management or a management agency, Play Management in Vancouver, and they just keep sending you out for stuff. And and you know what? It's like anything. You just it's kind of like playing the lottery. You literally, you show up, you do good work, and you, you just hope for the best, mm -hmm. like everybody else. What would be your dream role? Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know. You know what? I, I'm really into Alias right now, because I, I, I love the physical stuff. So it would be something along the lines of, of that, but somehow twisted into a meets Bette Midler live stage show. Just something little, no big deal. <laughs> no big deal, she's got big aspirations. Yeah. I just saw Pink. I think if I could be like Pink, right? that would be so cool. She's amazing. Yeah. She kind of is one of those, she's so outside the box. Like you just, yeah, she's amazing. She's one of my favorites. I didn't see her last night, but I'm a huge fan. Wait, be a magic. One stroke of my magic wand. And what are you working on next? Um, well, I have two features, or television features that are coming out. One for Hallmark, it's called The Honor Student. And one comes out for Lifetime called uh, Color of Rain, which is a true story about a couple who both of their spouses passed away and they met at a funeral. And that's with Lacey Chabert from, from Mean Girls, actually. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So that comes out, I believe, uh, in Jan or June. Okay, so you can catch Lisa on a multitude of media <laughs> levels. And uh, if you want to check out the movie, you can go to themagicferret.com. And I was told by Toronto producer-director Allison Parker that you can buy the DVD, too, as well. So there's a little plug. Thank you. Thank you. And now we're over to Jessica Cable, who's going to show us how we can warm up here in the wintertime in Winnipeg.